I went to the local McDonald's around my neighborhood. And for those of you on Facebook, I'm doing this for you because you've been asking me tons of questions on why I got kicked out of McDonald's. So I'm going to play from the beginning. I went to McDonald's so I can get the McFlurry and the Big Mac because that's the only two good things on their menu. When I came to McDonald's, I noticed there was a kid who was coughing all over us for some reason near the entrance. What happened was that this guy does this every day. These people loiter McDonald's for their cheap food and for their playpen because the kid, the parents are too irresponsible to take them to a park where odds are they'll probably get kidnapped by one of those old niggas like I almost did when I was 13. Of course, I was pissed that day because I was going to order their shitty food with my own money that I had to work hard for. You're know, not doing my chores efficiently. So I took the kid. I climbed into the playpen and went to the highest place where no one would hear him scream. And they whooped his ass. I basically took out my belt, strangled with him. Then I put him on a normal chokehold while still choking him with the belt, pulling with my left, no, right, right arm while I had the chokehold applied. And so he was basically dying. And while I took advantage of his lack of air, I climbed up that thing and then I proceeded to choke slam him. Keep in mind the guy's four years old, so. It wasn't as challenging as it sounds, and I'm about 120 pounds, so I can climb up that playpen up and down, and I wouldn't feel sluggish or get stuck. Yeah, 5'6", 120 pounds. Don't make fun of me, guys. Both my parents are short. Now, moving on from that, I come downstairs, and nobody gives a fuck because this is a Spanish neighborhood, and... They're used to whooping their kids' asses. And I noticed that the lady's doing poor service. This one guy asked her a fish fillet, which is like the dumbest thing you can order. And he came back with some apple dippers because they don't know how to hire people that can push the right buttons. You know. Wendy's doesn't have to worry about this shit because Wendy's and Burger King have this all work semi-automatically. McDonald's is stuck in the dinosaur age. Except for the soft drinks, I think. Nah, not even that. And so... I looked at who this cashier was who was providing this horrible service and it was the typical Spanish lady they keep hiring. Never makes eye contact with you, never has any enthusiasm, and always speaks like she knows this place is what it is and it's a piece of shit and she's not willing to deny it for one minute so that I can get what I want. She can just move on with her damn life. So what I did was I looked her dead in the face after I got my order. Which you all know what it is. The only stuff there that's good. And I said, aren't you that bitch from World Star? Because I know these Spanish ladies love World Star. Anybody that's ghetto loves World Star. She was like, what you say? I do not go to World Star. Coñazo, mariconazo. Wobble. <laughs> she was saying a lot of shit fast. And I was like, <laughs> Uh, and she was just really tearing me a new asshole. Like, Pato, Paco, I don't know. One means gay, one means duck. All you know is that I was getting my asshole torn, and one of the managers came and noticed that I was giving her problems, so he kicked my ass out. Instead of doing the responsible thing and firing her for another girl just like her, Cause it's always the same girl. And 
I still got my order even though I was kicked out, so... I got, like, food for days, I guess. They say McDonald's food's pretty cheap, but for seven and a half dollars, due to that high fucking taxation, I was able to basically just get a Big Mac and McFlurry. So you know what? I'm glad I'm not a McDonald's, because that status got many likes and inspired me to make this video. Oh, fuck that manager, he can suck my dick. You know what fuck McDonald's is doing to people that go there every single day. Just because they have nothing else to do in their lives. They should just do what I do. Stay home and use the internet all day because there's nothing else going for you in life. And this is probably the best it's ever going to be just like it was five years ago. <sighs> It's good sometimes. The life sucks most of the time. Alright guys, this is another video from Mr. Wonka7. I'll be sure to post some more stories of my life. That's probably going to be the regular series. And for now, enjoy yourselves.